Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review, a mini tutorial and some swatches of the latest release by Huda Beauty which is the Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. So this is now her third massive large eyeshadow palette she has released and in between there's been the teeny tiny obsessions palettes as well very soon after launching the three nude ones this one has come out so this i believe it to be her holiday release not forgetting any brand that is docked at sephora have to release products quite often so as much as her nude eyeshadow palettes when they were out they were more for the full release and this is for the holidays release i'm gonna have to say it again what is the point i mean this is the packaging it's see-through it's holographic but it's see-through completely unnecessary packaging this is going to go in the bin now why do we keep doing it huda anyway so i got mine from feel unique where huda beauty is listed as my brand for life so i got 10 percent off plus i had a couple of vouchers so i didn't actually have to pay full price for this at all first off now this aside which is now going in the bin let's talk about the packaging itself absolutely gorgeous comes in this very strong plastic casing which she hasn't done before in regard to the larger palettes the new nude one and the rose gold editions palette were both in cardboard boxes and this is the only one in this size which has come in heavy duty plastic some of her other smaller ones have come in plastic but maybe this is a new thing that she's doing one thing i do have to say so it's called mercury retrograde right so Mercury Retrograde is this new thing. I mean, I'd call it new as in the past year, two years. It's one of them buzzwords that people like, it's like a trending thing, I would personally say. I think it's a load of gump. I mean, forgive me if you believe in all of that stuff. The moon is in the position of the sun and it's blocking this and it means I'm extra productive today and extra sleepy tomorrow. And it's all that sort of thing. One thing I definitely have to rate Huda for is that she's very on trend with the release of a lot of her products. So because this is now the in thing, she's completely capitalized on that and released an eyeshadow palette based on Mercury Retrograde. Same thing she did over over the summer with the release of the neon eyeshadow palettes neon was huge over the summer in 2019 as well as the new nude shades you know turning the your typical kind of brownish nudes into a more mauvey purpley nude all of her products i do find to be fairly innovative quite creative and very on trend for what is happening there and then when it is released because let's be honest we all live in a consumerist society a fast moving society one thing that is in fashion one day will not be in fashion the following day and that's exactly how huda's mind works and I really have to rate her business acumen when it comes to things like that. Moving on to the palette. It's got this beautiful image on the front. Looks very kind of um, spacey sci-fi kind of vibe to it. It's got 18 shadows all together. It's got a decent mirror on the inside as well. And each of the sizes of the eyeshadows are of a decent size too. So let's just see what is written on Huda Beauty's actual website. It says this carefully curated palette is filled with easy to use combinations from dusty coppers rosy pinks golden taupe tones with pops of purple and blue the palette features a cosmic blend of whimsical fantasy like shades balancing cool and warm tones to complement the best of the intergalactic world featuring nine buttery mattes six high shine creamy metallics saturated with electrifying pearls saturated yeah one glittery powder charged with glass pearls and silver sparkles and two sheer multi-reflective shadows for multi-dimensional glow one thing i do have to say is and i don't know if any of you guys know the reasoning behind this why is it that she makes all her large palettes in italy but all the smaller obsessions palettes are made in china why is that what is the reason behind that we all know what china's rules are when it comes to animal cruelty so whereas you can say that some are cruelty free are others not i don't understand the inconsistency with this brand anyway so like they have said all together there are nine matte shades they're all absolutely lovely the matte shades are easy to blend they're buttery soft they're heavily pigmented they're absolutely excellent i personally am a very big fan of huda beauty's eyeshadow palettes in general however before we get into the palette now let's do what we did last time and check out if there are any comparisons with some of her other palettes now i had a look at the rose gold palette i would say that there are no ditto copies whatsoever so you're safe if you have that one and you are interested in getting this one now i've got the new nude palette here and i do have to say that this shade here called hot mess is very similar to that shade in the corner called spanked 
This very pale peachy beige shade called Momentum is fairly similar to Bare but not quite. And then I would say that there is no other, I mean Karma and Teddy could be similar but they're not, Teddy is a lot darker. That's one or two shades which are similar, one or two we can deal with, one or two is fine. Now I pulled out the Obsessions palette in the shade Emerald Obsessions. If you look at that shade in the corner, that kind of pale minty green shade, very very similar to that pale minty green shade there. But I would probably say that Haze in this palette has a little bit more blue running through it. So in that respect, I would say that similar, but not completely, still different. And that's it, I would say. I would actually say that you, if you were to get your hands on this and you've only ever had Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, you should have no issues in any terms of repetition. £58 is pricey for an eyeshadow palette, but again, nobody's forcing anybody to buy it. It's just the price that Huda tends to charge. So the six high shine creamy metallic saturated with electrifying pearls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. I am going to have to be completely honest, as I always am, I would not call them saturated with electrifying pearls, creamy metallics. They're shimmery, but they're not overly shimmery. In all honesty, for example, this shade called Galaxy, I wore it yesterday and the look came out absolutely stunning, but I had to layer it about three, four times for it to probably show up really, really, really intense. I actually find them to be quite sheer, which is very annoying considering what the description is like. The description is not reflective of what they are like in reality. Also, I have found applying them with a brush is really annoying, unless of course there's a Huda brush. Funnily enough, she did release some brushes for this collection, which are just repackaged to have this holographic uh, style. Um, but they seem to show up a lot better on the eyes if you are layering them with your finger. That's one of the things that annoys me a little bit about Huda's products is that they always show up better once you've used them with your finger. But not everybody's got tiny, teeny fingers. These nails of mine are quite long. I can very easily jab myself in the eye. So you do need to use your finger rather than a brush. Brush is only best used if you're tidying up the edges or slightly blending them out. Now the glitter powder, this glitter one here, Nebula, which is again plastic glitter, gorgeous. Look at it. It's the one that I'm using on my lid. I've layered it on top of something else, but it's absolutely stunning. Has got a real stick to it. Very similar to what she's done with her previous large two palettes. I love the pressed glitters that she has. There is a little bit of fallout. Again, I used my finger. There was no point using a brush. A brush just could not pick it up. But my finger, I literally had to go in once and pressed it on and it stuck with no issues. It's so intense and shimmery, absolutely stunning colour as well. Then you've got the two sheer multi-reflective shadows for multi-dimensional glow. That's their way of saying duochrome. <laughs> I've shortened it down for you, duochrome. And that would be these two shades over here, which is called Gold Glitch and Super Moon. Super Moon is what I'm using on my tear duct and on my brow bone. And then this gold shade has got little particles of kind of pink in it. And this one also is like a white with hints of green and blue. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous. They actually don't work too badly with a brush. But again, for full proper intensity, the way that it's supposed to come out, it's best used with your finger. Now in terms of the actual color breakdown itself, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a real step away from what we're used to normally seeing from Huda. This is probably the first time where I've seen her actually step out a little bit and try something a little bit different. So I do rate her for that. The shades do look very, very pale. A lot of them are quite pale and I would be slightly conscious if you've got very deep skin in how they will show up on your skin tone. Despite the fact that the mattes are very buttery and very pigmented, it makes no difference if your skin is too deep to pick it up. I would always suggest using a white base on your eyes but if you were to just use it over normal clear eyeshadow primer a lot of these shades will come out ashy on you or they'll come out completely invisible i do have to apologize i've got a cough and i've got a cold so every now and then if i look a bit weird it's because i just had a coughing fit my apologies now one thing again i have to say about this palette is that there's no real deep deep shades i mean there is this one that's just one, one lowly little one. So I'm wearing on my lower lash line. It's um, it's a nice enough colour. It's kind of one that you can use to smoke out stuff. But the thing with this palette, in terms of the way that the colours are, they're very pale. A lot of them are very pale. If anything, if you were to look at this, you could almost say that it's like a spring palette. It's just that she happens to have released it over the holidays to try and be a little bit different. And I believe we're in Mercury retrograde at the moment. I don't, you know something like that so that's why she released it at this time I'm assuming 
um, but the colours are nice. There's a very nice mix of warm tone and cool tone shades. A lot of people will love this palette. As of today, today is November the 3rd, I'm hopefully going to post it today. It's sold out in quite a lot of places because so many people were looking forward to it and it also just goes to show how many people were excited to try something from Huda that is a little bit different to what she normally puts together. Now I would definitely say that this is one of those palettes which can be used in the daytime as well as nighttime because those multi-dimensional creamy metallics are quite sheer you can get away with using them in the daytime just use one layer and a little bit of shimmer will show up and that's enough but then you can build them up for the nighttime as well lots of party looks here as well even bridal makeup too you can use this for this palette you can use this palette for so many different looks so many different things and i think it's absolutely gorgeous but if you guys really want to know my honest opinion in which out of the three are my still favorite ones bear in mind i didn't buy the remastered palette like who are you trying to rip off here? I still would say that probably my favourite one is the new nude one. I'll be honest with you because I use it a lot, a lot. It is not often I'm going to step out with a teal green on my eyes, you know. It's not often that I'm going to step out with a bright purple on my eyes. But the new nude one is definitely one that is very kind of day appropriate. You can use it a lot more. It's a lot more wearable for so many more people than, for example, this one is. However, if you're like me and you love your bright colours, and you like your random pops of jewel tone shades by all means you'll love this too it's absolutely excellent don't get me wrong now overall I would probably give this a 9 out of 10 the reason I don't give it a 10 is because of those multi-dimensional shades of which there are six which is quite a lot they are just not as intense as I would like them to be or how they have been described other than that I think it's an excellent palette I think loads of you will love this palette as well so what I'm going to do now is I am going to swatch all of these for you against my medium skin tone for reference in Huda Beauty's foundation I'm in the shade Baklava please Huda release a new foundation I just didn't really like that one I know you can do better anyway so I'm going to swatch these for you now so this first shade here is called Cosmic Cosmic is a beautiful baby pink colour and it is one of the ones which is a high shine creamy metallic. You see how beautifully it layers like this because I've applied it with my finger. If I'd done it with a brush it would not be this intense and it would be a lot more sheer. That's just something to bear in mind for all the other swatches that I'm going to show you. This shade is called Utopia. Utopia is a matte shade and it's a very pale orangey peach colour beautifully pigmented and easy to blend. This shade is called Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is obviously a pale violet colour. This is one of the metallic shades. It's what I'm actually wearing underneath the glitter on my eyes. This is probably one of the poor, poorer performing ones of these. I had to layer this about four or five times for it to properly sharp like this and then I covered it in glitter. This shade is called Nebula. So Nebula is the only glitter shade in here and I must admit it's probably one of my favourites. It is the most stunning colour, it's so unique, it's like a kind of purpley pale blue, it's like a mixture of both and I know it's got silver sparkles in it, really sticks well to the skin if you can imagine there's obviously no primer or anything on my hand and look at the way it just glided on and it sticks beautifully. There can be a little bit of fallout, bear in mind, but not enough that it sticks to the skin, it easily brushes off. This shade is called Mercury. This is another one of the metallic shades, such a beautiful colour. It's your classic kind of teal green colour with a blackish base to it. But unfortunately, if you can see right here at the bottom of the swatch, this is how it kind of applies. So you have to layer this a few times. This shade is called Haze. This is one of the matte shades and it's a pale minty green colour. Really nice and pretty colour, not always the best to use for brown skin because bear in mind against my skin tone as well it can come out quite chalky especially when using a brush. This shade here is called Off Balance. This is another one of the matte shades, absolutely beautiful colour, looks amazing against brown skin. It's a beautiful mauve colour with a hint of pink to it. This shade is called Galaxy. Galaxy is one of the creamy metallic shades, it's a beautiful rose gold colour. This next shade is called Libra. 
This one is a beautiful lilac matte shade. So pigmented and gorgeous. This shade is called Crash. This one is a very strange color look. It comes out very differently in the pan to how it shows up on my arm. In the pan, it looks almost taupe. But then against my arm, it's got like a hint of purpley mauve to it. Very unique shade and beautiful and matte. This shade is called Momentum. Momentum is another matte shade and it's a warm toned, very pale peach shade. It's actually too pale for my skin. So I just tend to use this as an all over base shade to set my primer. This shade is called Supermoon. Now Supermoon is one of the two sheer multi-reflective shadows with multi-dimensional pearl. This is obviously like a very frosty white colour but there's at least six colours that I can see shining. It's like a pink and a blue and a green. So it's one of those amazing shades that looks great with any eyeshadow look you put together. This shade is called Vortex. This, well, the swatch speaks for itself, doesn't it? It's a matte colour, but unfortunately it's one of those blackened plum shades which has very patchy kind of pigmentation. I mean, using it on my eyes, it wasn't too bad. It might just be because I'm swiping it with my finger, but unfortunately it is one of those matte shades which you have to give a little bit of extra arm work to blend it out so it doesn't come out patchy and sheer. This shade is called Hot Mess. This one is definitely one of my favourite matte shades from the entire palette. I've used it almost every day since I got this palette. It's a beautiful kind of burgundy reddish sort of colour with a hint of purple and it looks amazing. This next one is called Supernova. This is definitely one of the better performing creamy metallic shades. It's got a duochrome uh, hint to it. It kind of leans pinkish one direction and then kind of orangish depending on how the light hits it. This next shade is called Karma. This is another matte shade and another beautiful colour. It's like a deep peach shade and looks absolutely stunning. If you imagine it with the shades next to it, it would look amazing on the eyes. This one here is called Gold Glitch. This one is another one of those um, multi-reflective shadows. It's a gold colour with bits and flecks of gold and bits of pink in it. It's absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm struggling to show you guys properly now because I'm running out of arm space. And last but not least is the shade on the end called Frazzle. Frazzle is definitely a strange colour, not one that you come across often. It's like an orange with hints of duochrome gold in it. Very unique and it's also one of the creamy metallics. So here is all 18 shades for you to see at once. Very pretty. So that's it for my swatches and review and tutorial of the Mercury Retrograde palette by Huda Beauty. Let me know what your thoughts are of this palette. Are you planning on getting it? Have you already got it? Do you love it as much as I love it? Because I'm definitely feeling the love for this palette. I actually really, really like it myself. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye.